Every Starship launch is a spectacle, but the upcoming Flight 9 carries more weight than ever. With two back-to-back -back failures in the rear view, SpaceX is at a crossroads. Will this mission prove that the Block 2 upgrades are finally on track? Or will another explosion send shockwaves through the industry? This isn't just another test flight. It's a pivotal moment that could shape the future of Starship, influence NASA's Artemis program, and redefine the timeline for humanity's deep space ambitions. In today's Tech Map episode, we're diving deep into Starship Flight 9, its mission objectives, its critical role in SpaceX's roadmap, the expected launch timeline, and what's at stake. Buckle up, this is a launch you won't want to miss. After every Starship launch, all eyes shift to the next mission. But this time, the stakes are higher than ever. SpaceX is under pressure to prove it can fix the issues that doomed the last two flights and finally achieve key mission objectives. Flight 9 marks the third time SpaceX is using Block 2 hardware, the latest iteration of the upper stage. But so far, results haven't been promising. Flight 7 on January 16th introduced the Block 2 design, only for the vehicle to suffer a catastrophic fire and a rapid unscheduled disassembly, RUD. Then in Flight 8 on March 6th, the upper stage exploded again after multiple engine shutdowns, sending debris raining down and cutting off communication. Now Flight 9 must prove SpaceX can turn things around. This mission is a pivotal moment. Not only does it need to validate critical objectives, such as payload deployment and landing enhancements, but it also serves as a confidence test for SpaceX's partners, NASA, investors, and the aerospace industry. A successful flight would solidify Starship's role in upcoming missions, including the Artemis program, which aims to put humans back on the moon. So when is Flight 9 launching? A recent FCC filing suggests an operational window starting April 7, 2025, and ending October 7, 2025. Of course, the end date doesn't matter. What's key is that April 7th could be our first real launch target. Now, some may be skeptical of FCC filings over FAA updates, but history tells us otherwise. In the case of Flight 8, the FCC's listed start date was February 24th, and SpaceX initially targeted a February 26th launch, just two days later. While delays pushed the final launch to March 6th, the pattern shows the FCC's timeline is surprisingly accurate. And there's more evidence backing this up. After Flight 8, Elon Musk himself estimated a four to six week turnaround for Flight 9. That puts us squarely in the early to mid-April window. So could SpaceX really pull off two flights in under two months? Absolutely. Their biggest advantage is experience. The failures in Flight 8 were eerily similar to Flight 7 engine leaks, fires, and an ultimate loss of control. But here's the key. SpaceX has already been working on these issues since Flight 7. This means they don't need to start from scratch. Instead, they can double down on existing investigations, refine their fixes, and get Flight 9 ready much faster. Regulatory approval might not be as big a hurdle this time either. If Flight 9's mission profile remains unchanged, SpaceX likely won't need a modified FAA launch license. That means the biggest factor for approval will be environmental and safety assessments following Flight 8's explosion. If no significant public risks are found, the FAA's approval process could wrap up quickly, even faster than the six-week turnaround between Flights 7 and 8. So, will Flight 9 launch in April? At this point, all signs point to yes. If the timeline holds, SpaceX could achieve back-to-back -back launches months, a feat they pulled off last year with flights five and six in October and November. So now over to you. Do you think SpaceX can pull it off? Will we see Starship roar back to life next month? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. On the next test flight, Ship 35 will be accompanied by Booster 14, which flew on the previous Flight 7. More interestingly, 
B-14 will not be caught by the Mechazilla arms for recovery. Instead, it will likely land in the ocean, meaning that Flight 9 will be B-14's final mission. So, how well prepared is that hardware? S-35 completed their cryogenic tests and then moved back to Mega Bay 2 for the check and engine installation. B-14 remained in Mega Bay 1, undergoing extensive refurbishment and inspection. If Flight 9 is a success, it will be a massive leap forward for SpaceX, proving that the company has tackled the issues plaguing its Block 2 hardware and is ready to push Starship closer to full operational status. But what if it fails again? A third consecutive explosion would be a major setback, raising serious questions about the fundamental design of the Block 2 upper stage. Experts warn that repeated failures could derail critical milestones, including achieving a fully operational orbital starship, deploying the next-generation Starlink version 3 satellites, supporting NASA's Artemis program for crewed lunar landings, Artemis 3, which relies on Starship for the Human Landing System, HLS, has already faced delays. If Flight 9 meets the same fate as the last two missions, it could trigger even more schedule slips, raising concerns about whether Starship will be ready in time for NASA's ambitious plans. A pattern of high-profile explosions could also start to erode investor confidence, even though SpaceX's Falcon 9 success and Starlink revenue act as a financial cushion. While failures are expected during rocket development, repeating the same failure multiple times raises red flags. Can SpaceX truly fix these issues? Or is the Block 2 design fundamentally flawed? Elon Musk has a habit of downplaying Starship failures, calling them minor setbacks. But three in a row? That's much harder to dismiss. If Flight 9 fails in the same way, it could indicate deep-rooted engineering problems, problems that might require a total redesign and months or even years of additional testing. Additionally, regulatory barriers could get worse. The FAA has already launched investigations into flights 7 and 8, especially after Flight 8's explosion temporarily halted commercial flights due to falling debris concerns. If Flight 9 ends in another catastrophic failure, the FAA could tighten launch regulations, impose longer investigation periods, and demand stricter safety measures, potentially slowing down the entire Starship program. So, SpaceX needs a win. But before we hit the panic button, let's remember who we're talking about. SpaceX thrives on failure, because every failure teaches them something new. Back in the early days of Falcon 1, things looked even worse. Three failures in a row nearly bankrupted the company. But on the fourth try, in September 2008, they finally succeeded. And that success laid the foundation for everything that followed. One of SpaceX's top engineers at the time, John Edwards, famously said, never give up. After Falcon 1 Flight 3, we learned the hard way that the night is darkest just before the dawn. Keep your head up, keep pushing, we're gonna get there. And they did. Falcon 1's hard-earned success laid the foundation for Falcon 9, the powerhouse of modern spaceflight, boasting nearly 500 successful launches and an unrivaled track record in reusability. This achievement is the culmination of years of relentless effort and innovation. In 2022, Falcon 9 shattered records with 60 successful launches in a single year, surpassing the long-standing 1979 Soyuz U record of 47 launches. The momentum only grew. By 2023, the Falcon family had completed 96 successful missions. And in 2024, SpaceX pushed the boundaries even further, with an astounding 134 total Falcon flights, marking an impressive 40% surge in launch frequency. At the heart of SpaceX's success is its groundbreaking reusability. As of March 21, 2025, the company has successfully landed Falcon 9 boosters 406 times, with some individual boosters soaring up to 26 times, a feat unmatched in the industry.
However, SpaceX recently recalibrated its ambitious launch goals in response to new challenges, including the loss of booster B-1086 on March 2, 2025, and extended refurbishment times for some recovered Falcon 9 boosters. Originally aiming for 180 launches this year, the company has revised its target to 170, an average of 14 launches per month, maintaining an aggressive pace in the race to redefine space travel. So, will SpaceX pull off the same turnaround with Starship? Well, the stakes are much higher this time. Starship isn't just another rocket, it's a massive, fully reusable system designed for Mars, the Moon, and beyond. The technical complexity is on another level. The financial stakes are enormous. And with NASA as a major partner, SpaceX isn't just answering to itself anymore. But one thing is certain. If any company can fail its way to success, it's SpaceX. So, what do you think? Can SpaceX bounce back and finally nail Flight 9? Or are we looking at a fundamental flaw in the Starship design? Let me know in the comments. SpaceX's Starship program represents a bold endeavor in aerospace engineering, aiming to create a fully reusable super heavy lift launch vehicle capable of transporting significant payloads and humans to destinations beyond Earth's orbit, including the Moon and Mars. This ambitious project is characterized by its commitment to full reusability of both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship Upper Stage, a design philosophy intended to drastically reduce the cost of space access. Integral to Starship's development is SpaceX's rapid iteration testing strategy, a methodology that prioritizes frequent flight tests to identify and address potential issues early in the development cycle. This approach, often likened to the move fast and break things, ethos prevalent in the technology sector, views failures not as insurmountable obstacles, but as crucial learning opportunities that inform subsequent design modifications and improvements. The development of Starship has seen the introduction of various hardware configurations. Notably, the Block 2 version of the Starship upper stage incorporates several key upgrades, including a 25% increase in propellant volume to enhance payload capacity, improved heat shielding for atmospheric re-entry, smaller forward flaps repositioned towards the vehicle's tip, and a redesigned fuel line system featuring vacuum-insulated lines specifically for the Raptor vacuum engines. Starship Flight 7, launched on January 16, 2025, marked the inaugural flight of a Block II upper stage, Ship 33, followed by Starship Flight 8, Ship 34, on March 6, 2025, representing the second test of this upgraded hardware. Beyond hardware upgrades, SpaceX is also advancing infrastructure to support Starship's ambitious flight cadence. The company is ramping up launch operations at its Starbase facility in Texas, while also preparing for Starship flights from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A. The expansion of launch infrastructure will be key to meeting SpaceX's long-term vision of frequent and cost-effective access to space. With each milestone, the Starship program is redefining what's possible in space travel. Though challenges remain, SpaceX's iterative development philosophy ensures that every setback fuels progress, bringing the dream of interplanetary travel closer to reality.